Connor Lycon from Lycon Automotive. I got another interesting car here. We have a 2011 Chrysler 200 here. What we're looking to do is to find out if that's a bad head gasket. Customers complain it overheated several times and it won't start. Uh, with these really tough engines here, uh, it's sometimes super hard to get to the spark plugs or just take the things apart on the engine. So with all the technology we have today, right here we have a pressure sensor that we can read off of our lab scope over there um, that hooks right off of the radiator. Also over there we have a, a current amp uh, probe on top of, on the uh, positive battery cable. Basically what happens when you crank this engine over, when you're cranking the starter over and the starter's under a load because the engine has compression, it's going to go ahead and um, pull more amps. So you're going to see it on the lab scope. Um, basically, when we crank the server, I want you also to listen. You'll hear only one cylinder hitting uh, when they crank this over. Uh, can you crank that over? You can hear it hitting. Uh, thank you. Now over here, we we're recording on our lab scope over here. And what I want to do is show you basically what we got here. Now that we can check this electrically, um, without pulling the whole engine apart, it tells us exactly what's going on. Right here we have the compression of the engine. We have a four cylinder engine. One, three, four, two, and I'll start over one, uh, one again. Uh, what's basically happening here, when it peaks up to here, that means there's a load on the starter. That means that's compression. And you heard one of the cylinders when it was cranking over, it's going, eh, eh, eh. That is the compression, the load on the starter. Every time it does that, the amps go up and it records it. As you see, you heard one cylinder run uh, with compression. This one, you didn't hear nothing. This one, you didn't hear nothing. This one, you hear nothing, and back to one again. Also, when you see this peak up, there's no back pressure in the radiator. When you see this very low, you see back, uh, you see pressure now in the in the radiator. You should have no pressure in the radiator. You see this cylinder number four, real low, pressure. Two, real low, pressure. Once again, one, we have a lot of pressure or a lot of pressure here, zero here. So, if I had to throw a compression gauge on this motor, I would find out that number one cylinder has compression, two, three, and four does not. And what else I'm saying that tells me it's a head gasket is in the uh, radiator, the cooling system, we have pressure. The pressure is getting past the head gasket, which is causing it to um, uh, spike that high there. You should have no compression in the radiator. So this customer is going to probably need an engine because it's overheated so many times. I would not recommend, I would not recommend doing a head gasket on this. Thank you very much. Like on Automotive, tip of the day.